YieldSense provides very accurate geospatial mapping of where your yield came from within the field. In order to maintain that performance, there's a handful of things you want to inspect on the combine before each season. At the bottom of the elevator, you want to inspect the divider plate to ensure that it's intact. If it begins to come loose, there's a chance it's going to shred your paddles. You want to also check both the upper and lower elevator chain sprockets to ensure that those do not have excessive wear, as excessive wear will cause unnecessary vibration and degrade the accuracy of your yield results. Next, you'll want to go in and release the tensioner pulley so that you can be able to rotate the elevator chain freely. As you rotate it, you want to inspect every paddle, the property bucket, as well as the crud brush to ensure they're all in good working order. On the crud brush, when it wears down to an eighth inch of material left, that would be the point to go ahead and replace it. You also want to inspect every J-hook as you're rotating that thing through and replace them if you find any that have any ex excessive amount of wear. Once you know that the elevator chain is in good working order, go ahead and retension the elevator drive belt. and go and inspect the amount of slop you have on the chain of the lower sprocket. You want no more than 3 eighths of an inch of pull down off of the sprocket, but no tighter than what would allow you to be able to slide the chain from side to side. Up at the top of the elevator, you want to take the check gauge and double check that we're between A and D in regards to the clearance between the top paddle and the mass flow sensor. By double checking these key components of yield sense, you'll be able to ensure you have maximum productivity in the field and minimize breakdowns. If you have any further questions, feel free to drop us a line, 208-250-3455. Until next time, make it a blessed day.